Hello everybody and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading so let's hop straight into it okay. So angel spirit guides ancestors of mine of the highest white light give me some messages here for the YouTube collective. Give me messages for my YouTube collective here. What is something that they need to know about the person you're getting ready to send into their life here. Their true divine counterpart here. Give me updates on their person. that my heart belongs to you so whoever this is y'all this person feels like you have their their heart here so this person trusts you all right this i feel like this person never has truly let their guard down with anyone before but this person they trust you with their heart here all right it's like you make this person um like want love it's like you make this person feel safe. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they know that they can trust you with their heart here. All right. Yeah, this person see you as an angel. You all could be an earth angel if you resonate with that term. All right. I know some people is new to tarot, so they're still learning certain things or they're new on the spiritual journey. But you could definitely resonate with being called an earth angel here and this person sees you as an angel from heaven here okay a true divine being innocent loving beautiful so you're very beautiful to this person i'm hearing that song by monica angel of mine when i first saw you i already knew there was something inside of you so this person knew that it was something inside of you this person knew that you were different all right like you were very very angelic and then it's your light here okay you're just divine you're very divine all right getting to know each other everything about each other so you're going to be getting to know you're going to be getting to know this person inside and out they're going to be getting to know you inside and out here Okay, I, if this is somebody that you have dealt with before, um, it could definitely be where you both have grown so much that you both are totally different than when you all could have maybe separated from each other here. Okay, something about Indian. Somebody here could be Indian. Okay, I'm definitely getting Indian or Indian tribe or something like that, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing like them little feathers or something here, okay? Maybe you all could be seeing feathers, but I'm, I'm specifically getting that those little feathers that the Indians be wearing. So somebody could definitely be Indian or have Indian in their um, bloodline or something like that here, okay? Um, yeah, this divine masculine here has definitely changed, okay? And this person wants to get to know you all over again this person know that you have grown but they have also grown as well here all right this person is not going to be the same yeah this person feels like you're the one for them you're the only one for them all right nobody else does it for this person you're the only one that this person would even consider settling down with marrying seeing as his wife having a child with here it's like it's you it's always been you you're the only one that i would i would consider you know giving my heart away to yeah y'all oh so this divine masculine feels like he can't live without you he feels like he needs you in his life. He needs you in his life, collective. And it's just nobody else for him. Like, yeah, it's plenty of women in this world, right? 
but he don't want them. He want you. And he feel like his life is not going to be complete without you in it here. He feel like he can't live without you. He needs you in his life. He needs you in his world to make his, his life complete. All right. And you know, the world is all about like um, completions. And so, and, and this is how this person feel without you, girl, my life is incomplete. This is really how he's feeling. He need you. Baby, I don't know what you did to this person. But this person is sprung over you. Okay, this person cannot stop thinking about you. I'm talking about when this person wake up in the morning, they're thinking about you. When they're at work, they're thinking about you. If they could be out with their friends, they're thinking about you. If this person went out and tried to date around, they was thinking about you. It was always something that reminded them of you, whether it's your hair, your scent, your talk, your walk, your name, your birthday, your car. It's like this person could just, not, it's every little thing around them it's it's something that reminded this person of you and it's like oh you know what i'm saying but this person you got this person sprung okay i'm hearing this song by uh t-pain i'm sprung how'd you get me got me doing things i never do and you ain't been i'm telling you he like brother if you ain't being i'm telling you this woman did a number on me you did a number on this person collective. Like, you got this person fiend and you got this person sprung. This person might not have ever been sprung like this before off of nobody. Okay, baby, you got it. You know what I'm saying? You got it. You got it. You got it. I think this T-Pain, too. <laughs> you got it, girl. Okay, she. You set this person soul on fire. Yeah, somebody love language could be gifts. So this person could definitely want to buy you gifts. They could definitely want to spoil you, spoil they lady. I'm hearing they lady. Somebody could say they lady. I don't know why I said it like that, but somebody person could talk like that. My lady. <laughs> I really find that y'all person got a little sexy voice. My lady. Ooh, that's the kind of sound like California or something. I don't know, but anyway. <laughs> this person's love language could be gifts so he could be wanting to come in and do something very nice for you okay that's something special special that's tangible or intangible here okay that's like a a, a car with a whole bunch of bags in it with perfumes and the roses filled up in your car or something like that you know what i'm saying or chocolates and uh dresses and things like that i feel like this person could love to shop for their lady okay it's like this man could could um love fashion or he could you know love like designer and things like that maybe and it's like he know what he he know what, what he want his lady in, okay? And he could definitely love shopping for his woman, okay? And he could, you could have like a whole bunch of dresses and, and maybe heels and uh, things like that, all right? That he want to see you in here that accentuate your curves and things like that. Y'all can have that body, yada, yada, yada. And he want to see you in some nice stuff. All right, see them curves pop out. See, you heard me. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. Yeah, okay. So, y'all, y'all kind of coming up as this queen of cups here. All right. This person can look at you as this queen of cups, like somebody that's very nurturing somebody that's very kind you're beautiful inside and out all right this person look at you as the perfect wife so like i said when i first started this reading out this person look at you as somebody that they would want to settle down with they would want to marry and i don't feel like this person has ever considered like just settling down with one woman okay let's just say that let me clarify that um i don't feel like he's ever ever thought about settling down with one woman i feel like this is a man that has had multiple women okay and and he might have had a main woman and but he had other women too so it wasn't just the only one i feel like with you 
He want to make you his one and only. He want to be committed, committed to you. All right? And he ain't playing no games. All right? Like, he, he want to marry you. All right? And he wants you to be his only one wife. Okay? Let's just, I have to uh, make sure I put emphasis on that. All right? Like, <laughs> He 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 want to be with just you, all right, just you only, no side pieces, no 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 nothing, all right. What else, spirit? All right, so you all could have started out as maybe friends with this person, all right, or you could have. Maybe been dealing with this person and maybe it wasn't a title on it. Maybe you all could have felt like y'all was in a relationship, but y'all was not in a relationship. But some of y'all, okay? This could be some of y'all. It might not be all of y'all, but take it how it resonates. You got, even though you ain't my girl. Okay? And you know that song by Plaid? Even though you are, how he say, how it go? Even though I'm not your man, you're not my girl, I'ma call you my shawty. I can't stand to see you treated bad. I beat his ass for my shawty. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, y'all. Okay, maybe y'all started out like this. Maybe you all were messing around with each other. Y'all could have been sneaky linking. Or, or y'all could have been like y'all was in a relationship, but it didn't have a title on it. So he wasn't truly committed. But you know what I'm saying? But it's it's kind of like that's how it was for some of y'all. And uh, he fell in love. Maybe he didn't mean to fall in love, but he fell in love with you, though. All right? Like, even now, I feel like he, he, he still feels like you're his girl. Even if you ain't heard from this person in a minute. And if y'all could be in separation. In his mind, he still feel like, that's my girl. That's my lady. Okay? <laughs> but he want to make it official, though. Like, he want to put a title on it. Like, he don't want to just have you there and you, 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 you just, you. And, and somebody acts like, okay, so is this your man? You can't even say if this your man and I can't no title on it. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to be like that. Like, you're going to be like, yeah, that's my man. That's my husband or that's my fiance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be a title on it. You know? But he, he, he feel like you're his, even though you ain't. Like, oh, yeah, let me find that this person could be a little possessive when it comes to you. Like, she mine when, when she ain't mine. Like, baby, let me find out. Okay, let me just find out. All right, let me find out. Child, I feel like this person could be a little jealous. All right, he don't want you with nobody else here. He only, he only want to deal with you. Like, uh-uh, honey. You 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 but you better uh come on in and get it together, my brother. Okay, sure. You better do it correct. But I feel like this man gonna get it correct though, cause he don't want you to go nowhere. All right, you all could be doing amazing collective. Like you all could be in your in this Queen of Pentacles energy. All right, you could be you know doing very well when it comes to uh, your career. You could have just got a brand new home, brand new car, a brand new business, uh, a brand new tax bracket. You're just doing very well. You could be getting deals, signing major deals, you know, collaborating with people. I'm hearing acting. I'm hearing modeling. I'm hearing dancing. I'm hearing uh, a whole lot of things. Okay. And like people could literally be like praising you. It's kind of giving me like the... Um, <clears throat> the six of wands here. Okay, a whole lot of awards and like public recognition for something here. Like people are definitely noticing you, and you are standing out. Uh, wherever you are, you're standing out, so you can have like some type of popularity and fame, or you're coming into this. But for the most of y'all, I'm for the most of you all, I'm getting that you already have this like recognition or this fame or something like that and you're doing amazing y'all like life is just really good for you and maybe the only thing that you're missing is love and it's like god is getting ready to bless you with love and and it's like now you you're gonna be complete you know what i'm saying vice versa even with this person like you know this person could you know have the money 
and the only thing he's missing is like love and it's like y'all gonna be a blessing to each other y'all gonna love each other here all right you got celebrating all of your wins big or small so this person want to be your biggest supporter here so like i said collective you all are doing very good right now on your own and this person see you shining he see you like it's like i see you i see you baby I see you shining. I see you winning. Like, I love that shit. Like, that's what I'm hearing. Like, I love that shit. You know, it, 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 it kind of turn this person on a little bit. How you working and how you move. And they like it. All right? So, this person want to be your biggest supporter. All right. I like it. I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. Yeah, you all can uh, communicate through music. You could be listening to a lot of music right now. This person could be listening to a whole lot of music here. All right. And it's like the songs just speak to you. All right. Um, it's a song now. Uh, is it um, I Need You? Uh, I, I, I need you. Da, 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 da. Is that uh, Coco Jones or something like that, y'all? I don't know. But this person need you. And I said that. I think that came out. This person need you. Okay? <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, but y'all could definitely communicate through music here. All right? You could turn on a, on, a, on the radio or you could play some like on Pandora or iHeart or something like that. And you're like, oh, my God. Like, it's why it's like it's touching my soul or something but that's because whatever it is that you're listening to like your person is sending you messages through these songs and that's why it's hitting different you know what i'm saying like, like woo, you know what i'm saying and, it, and it's the same for this person this person's gonna try to visit you soon your divine masculine is gonna try to visit you soon collective all right and he definitely could be wanting to come in with these gifts he could definitely be wanting to come in and you know, he could come in, you know, kind of seeing where you are, like, hey, how you doing? You know, I, I've been thinking about you, and God put you on my mind, and are you all right? You know, how has life been treating you? Um, even though I feel like if you're doing anything online, this person already knows that you're doing all right, but they're going to come in and, 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 and give you some kind of small communication at first to kind of see how you're going to receive him. Okay. It's, and he's going to be like, you know, well, um, maybe are you dating? Are you dating? He's going to be trying to say, if you, are you dating? You know what I'm saying? And you're going to tell him if you're dating or not or whatever. And then he's going to probably ask you out on a date to ask can he he visit you can he see you and baby it's just gonna go from there do you hear me it's gonna go from motherfucking there and woo honey uh, them, 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 them sparks and shit uh, child it's gonna get the flame and it's sparking and everything child woo okay you thought that it was a, intense at first baby it's gonna really be intense okay Sure, child. Trading places, okay? I feel like this person know that you're a go-getter. This person know that you're a hard worker. You could be, if you have, if you're, if you have children, you're a great mom, okay? I feel like you're, you're great at balancing things out in your life. You could just do a whole lot. And this person want to come in and they want to do life with you. So if you have children, they want to come in and... They want to step up and they want to be there, you know, for your children as well. Or if you're used to doing everything by yourself at home, like cooking, cleaning, or helping with homework or whatever. They want to come in and they want to assist with that here. Okay? Or um, you all both have businesses. You both can, like, help each other in you all's business endeavors. Like, you're going to be helping this person. They're going to be helping you. You're like, y'all going to be like a team. And it's going to be easy for the both of you all. You know what I'm saying? Like... You're going to wash. They're going to wash. He going to cook. You're going to cook. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm also getting, even like in the bedroom, y'all, like y'all going to be trading places. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be dumb, dumbing it one time and he could be dumbing it the next. But, baby, let me tell you something. This man right here ready to put it on you. He ready to put it on your tail. 
Okay, you out, out here looking at good collective and you think this man finna sit up here and stand back and not try to get you and not try to lock you down. For some of them, he gonna want to uh, have a child with you. Okay, because he like, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. But it says that he see you as his wife. So, yes, of course, he gonna want a child with you, but not just the baby mama. Because it says he see you as nurturing, beautiful, kind, and as a perfect wife. So, he want to make you his wife and the, the mother of his child here. Okay, but... Baby, he ready to be Mr. Nasty here. All right, baby. He ready to... ooh -wee. He ready to do some things to you, uh, collector, baby. And, and you all, I feel like it could be the same way. You could be feeling the same way towards this person here, okay? Um, and you could actually be feeling this person. You could be getting like a little tingling sensation. You're like, woo, wait a minute. Like, uh... I'm up here in the drive-thru trying to get me a coffee and I'm up here feeling a little tingle. What is that? It's your person. It's your person sending you these little urges right here, okay? Because <laughs> he's thinking about you, okay? Um, he could even be, uh, you know, self-pleasing himself to the thought of you or to photos or videos or, or to like fantasies uh, in his head of you or something like that. But baby, let me just tell you, he don't want nobody else but you. He want to feel you. You hear me? And nobody else at all. And he don't want nobody else to have you. What is you talking about? Somebody else having you? Oh, baby, he don't even like the thought of that. <laughs> he don't even like the th I told you he's looking at you as somebody angelic and very pure. Somebody else being in you like, oh, heck no. Nah. He like, oh, no. Nah. Oh, no, ma'am, baby. He ain't having it. He can't even take it. He like, oh. <laughs> he like, uh oh, oh, baby. He don't want that. He do not want that. But he is going to be trying to visit you soon. All right. And I feel like y'all ain't going to be able to keep y'all hands off each other, especially after y'all have this um, heart to heart conversation. And baby, he apologized. And y'all, I feel like that first time y'all are like together like that, baby, y'all gonna be crying. It's gonna be a lot of tears, but like happy tears and like I miss you tears. And I ain't never gonna let you get away tears. And I, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. It's gonna be very passionate. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, baby, let me just tell you something. I, I don't know. I just like, I can feel it. Okay. Uh, child, look, love got them bugging, baby. This, they ain't never felt no love like this before ever in their life. And this is how they know it's different. They ain't never felt anything this intense ever before with nobody else. And that's how they know it's real. That's how they know that it's way more... Okay, then what he thought it was in the beginning. At first, he could have thought that, you know, it, it just is what it was, you know. A shoe, a, a, a little, you know, sneaking link or whatever. But, baby, his heart got invested in. Baby, his heart got too attached to let him fall back. He can't fall back. He wants you. All right, he could have tried to move on, but he can't. He in love. You made this man fall in love. All right, but uh, let's get a few more. Let's get a few more out of this other deck here, y'all. This is beautiful, y'all. I love, absolutely love this energy right here. And I was so glad that the energy has changed a little bit. Because at first I was like, what in the heck? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's get some messages out of this one. All right, spirit, give me. All right, oh, a child, I know what I be talking about. Y'all better stop sitting up here playing with me. Y'all better stop sitting up here playing with me like that. Y'all know I know what I be talking about, right? Okay, it says, I need it. 
you know I'm a fan. Peaches and cream, peaches and cream. You know what? Dun, 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 I'm a fan. I can't bring it, and I don't know my sing. Dun, 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 ice cream. Know what I mean? Peaches and cream. Da 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 right here okay and baby let me just tell you something this person they they need it okay i'm telling you and and like i said when this person first come in honey i'm telling you y'all gonna be crying okay i miss you all right i need you all right i don't want you to go nowhere and baby it's gonna be very intense here okay because like i said this person only want to feel you I'm telling you, all right, and it, it could have been a while for y'all, it could have been a while for him, and baby, woo, honey, you talking about Niagara, child, let's see, all right, this person could want to take you on a beautiful date, like outside in nature, this person can actually be meditating and grounding himself, all right, and he could want y'all to go out and ground you know, be grounded together, like meditate together or something out in nature here. All right. Yeah. Oh, my God. This person look at you as a whole mood. Like, ain't nobody got, can't nobody copy your energy. Can't nobody duplicate it. Ain't, ain't nobody like you. Okay. You're a whole mood out here. I don't know why I'm coming to picking up Cardi B. Okay. You know how when Cardi B first got with Offset, I think Cardi B was just now coming into like a certain status i don't feel like she was at the point you know she wasn't like she is now she was just coming in like the game and stuff like that and she was just getting like out there like that and people could you know it's kind of making fun of her because she herself she true she authentic i feel like that's y'all like you could be very goofy very silly maybe you talk different maybe you come from a certain hood and you talk a certain way and but you're very intelligent though because don't get it twisted even though she could talk a certain way and be silly she's very very business oriented and she about her money <laughs> okay uh, uh but you know she's herself you know what I'm saying? And she don't care about nobody judging her or anything. And I feel like that's y'all. He loves the fact that you're true, you're authentic, you're real. You don't care about nobody judging you or nothing like that. And you're not going to sit up here and change who you are and who God made you to be to please nobody. And I feel like this is what this person loves about you. It's like you, you, you real, you know. And even in that situation, y'all, him... Uh, uh, Offset and um, Cardi B end up getting like married and nobody knew and when he proposed to her they were already married it's just that he wanted everybody else to know that they were like married you know what I'm saying I feel like y'all are gonna be the same way for me to even pick that up like he loves your realness your rawness here okay and, and can't nobody do it like you you're a whole mood okay and not only that I feel like y'all are gonna be married and nobody know Y'all gonna go off somewhere and get married and like people will are not gonna know until like you all make it known. So y'all ready to let people know that y'all are married. But y'all gonna already be married and people ain't even gonna know it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, you got the keys to their heart here. Alright. This person could definitely want to take you on a romantic getaway. Alright, look, you will always be a part of me. You will always be my baby. Collective, this person feel like you will always have their heart. You will always be a part of them and you will always be their baby. Alright, but um, let me see. Do I want to? Let's just get a couple more, y'all. Every time I get ready to end it, it's like I don't want to end it. And I feel like this is this person's energy. Like they don't want to, they don't want to end. We don't want to never end. This person ain't going to never want it to end. I'm telling you. That's why this person is wanting to marry you. Because he ain't going to want to let you get away. I'm telling you, like, I'm talking about ever. Like he ain't going to ever want to go in separation. Like he ain't never going to want to see you walk away from his life or nothing. Spirit, give me some closing messages here. Spirit, give me some closing messages for the collective.
All right, we got children. Your love life is a being affected by children. All right, y'all, I feel like at first, maybe if you have children, all right, maybe this person at, at one point wasn't ready for children. Maybe this person life was so busy. This person could have been in like, like very adventure. I feel like this was like a, um, a, like a knight of wands okay like this person could have you know wanted their freedom of course they could have had like options at one point they could have wanted to be free and the lifestyle that they had children that just didn't fit into his lifestyle and you could you know have children and even though this man loved you he wasn't ready for a family and things like that at the time but now he want to come in. He want to love your children like his own here. Okay. Um, he also like want to be very loyal. Y'all, I don't know why I'm getting that this man could want to gift your children with like a pet dog or some type of pet or animal or something like that. But I feel like your children are going to love this person here. Like he's going to be a great, great father figure here. Okay. A great husband to you, but a great father figure for your kids here. And that definitely could have been another factor. Maybe you all wasn't able to move how you wanted at first. And uh, maybe you didn't have the balance that you have now. Maybe whatever it is you're doing is causing you to have more freedom. Okay. Let's just say you was working a nine to five and now you got a business. So with your business, you're able to move how you want to do. Because maybe you're working from home or something like that. It's like you're able to balance out your home life and love life. Maybe you you could have had to get balance in your life. You know what I'm saying? He had to work on things and you had to work on things. But um, the type of lifestyle he had, like, I don't feel like children fit in, in what he was doing before. Versus now he's ready to be a family man. And he wants to have a child with you. If you already have kids, he's going to be a great father to your kids. But he wants a child, I feel like, with, with you all here. Okay, and I constantly keep picking up on Nella and Ashanti because you know Ashanti does not have kids. She's gonna have her first child. Okay, but Nelly already had kids. Okay, so I feel like this is how you all are. Somebody here did not have kids, and they're finna get ready to have their first child. And somebody else already had kids, but you're finna get ready to like have a child together. All right, that's what I'm picking up on. got very soon all right so clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now all right so y'all clearly decide what you want because this person like i said is getting ready to visit you soon and this is getting ready to come in very soon for you here okay yeah let's see let's get one more spirit So if you was wondering, like, when is this love coming in? Like, it's coming in very soon. Let's see, anything else, Spirit? Nothing else. Like, okay, this is it. Nothing else is coming out. So Spirit wanted me to leave it right there. All right, something about 33, y'all. Y'all know I constantly keep picking up on 33. I don't know if you and your person is 33. He could be coming back in at 33, 33 days or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, it could be three days, it could be three weeks, it could be three months. Uh, y'all could be 33. All right, some about 33 specifically. Okay, but um, just know y'all soon this person can agree to come in. Okay, uh, but that is all I have for you all collective. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. Thank you for booking personal readings with me. God love you. And I do too. Peace.